Hello everyone and welcome in tonight's game between the Millersville Marauders and the University of Pennsylvania Quakers. Hello again everyone, my name is Travis Schuster here with you tonight for game 10 of this season as the Marauders, Marauders force it back down low into the UPenn 10. Oh. Marauders fighting for it back, I throw it across, Vaccarello is shot blocked. Baccarato get, gets it back, fighting for along the corner, and UPenn will descend that one the length of the ice. Trying to fix some audio issues, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Here come the Marauders moving back up through center, stepped away, and UPenn will come to it. Griffin Bond trying to knock it back the other way for the Quakers, as that shot was turned wide by Allen Ryder. Back up, Marauders out front, that shot, save, rebound, save again. Back down in front, save. Aiden Carey with just three opportunities right in front. I believe he fired four shots off, and now Adam Hennessy with the shot right in on the goaltender, and he covers up and makes the save. Starting for the U for the U Penn Quakers, it is Jack um, Averill. Number 37, that shot turned wide. Zerko trying to get a stick on it, and here comes Upen back the other way. Seifert going to control it, and Upen has it in the corner. Down low in the corner, back up to the blue line. Number five, that shot turned back in. Saved by Schroeder. We apologize, we do not ha I do not have a number five on the roster for Upen, so we'll try to get that one in a second intermission. Marauders fighting for it along in the corner. Seifert trying to get to it. He cannot. Knocked away from Corelli. Kay's trying to move up. He can't either. And Seifert trying to play that one out to center. Taken by number 77. Spencer Tuhi takes it to the corner. It's UPenn trying to feed it out in front. And it's dragging the back. Feed on the back end. And Corelli will send that one length of the ice. Just under two minutes to play. Just under two minutes here in the opening period. Here comes Tuhi, working his way up to gain the blue line. Takes that shot wide. Back out in front, that shot save. Oh, the Marauders had to be careful. That puck bounced in front of the open net. Uh, I'm not sure uh, where, uh, I'm not sure uh, if that was a shot or not, but it bounced right in front of the open net. Crowley sends it down as a U-Pen player blows a tire, and I believe we're going to have icing. Face off, we'll come back within the Marauder zone. Face off will be to the left of Schroeder. It will be McCauley in to take the draw. UPenn wins it back, however, the Marauder's control. Cypher from behind his own net winds it around, looking for Jacob Burke. Burke has trouble trying to get it out. It's UPenn trying to force that one back in. They do, it's number 95. I apologize, we have a number 95 on the roster again. And just trickles in on Schroeder. He makes the save as 95 came barreling into Dylan Schroeder. He kind of tripped him up a bit. And we get no further extracurriculars. Well, the Marauders entering this game 7-2, and two, having played nine games this season. If you look at the schedule, this should be a, this should be their 11th. There should be their 12th game, but this is their 10th. They have two games postponed slash canceled. I believe the game against Kutztown was canceled or postponed. That was early on in the season. I believe that would have been like game number four. Here comes the Marauders again. Here comes Down Ryder along the boards fighting for it there. The Marauders fight for it and here comes UPenn back out. He has number 15. That's Shane Better. Better winds in and as he gets the end of the ship then he'll change. Down low into the corner. Of course, up that puck by Paolini, but UPenn knocked that one back, and that was number 44, Michael Schmidt. Now be controlled by Bet by Vaccarello. Here, Vaccarello backhanding that one out the center. He's looking to feed Jack Paolini, but his pass will miss and trickle back in the Marauder end. Apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 
Beats off. We'll come back out into the neutral end. Neutral zone. Call McCauley in to take the draw. He's racing Logan Popovich. Popovich wins it back. They force it out to center as McCauley trying to knock that one forward. He cannot. Back out Jeremy Seifer. And Marauders chasing. Here comes McCauley. Call McCauley working his way in. That shot, bad angle shot. He wanted to feed it out in front of the net, but just going to get a pass. And here comes Upen, knocked back in by the Marauders, down low into the Marauder, and trying to flip that one out in front. And, and did, bleh, did not go. Cypher trying to keep it at the blue line. Here come, here, here come the Quakers. Number 28, Logan Popovich. And sent back in. Here, here. Here comes the University of Pennsylvania, working up through center race. Working his way in behind, leaves it off for number 55. Trying to back in that one, back in, it's still, puck is stolen. Good work by Cole McCauley. Back out, McCauley on the back end, trying to feed it out. That one back out, that was Tyler Pohl in Boston, as they call him. Down low behind the net now. Here comes Upen, trying to flip it in, that was Brandon Ward, couldn't keep, couldn't keep it in, here comes you can force up the puck by Aiden Carey. They knock it ahead. They force it down low. Here come the Marauders. Up through the blue line, but U Penn will just take it back. Here come the Marauders again. Leaving, but oh, trying to leave. Hennessy was trying to leave it for Aiden Carey. But Hennessy gets it right back, trying to skate away through two men. He got through one man to get the shot through the other saved by the goaltender. So he forced it back in. Again, we apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. This stream, unfortunately, cannot be li streamed live. Uh, the Wi-Fi in the building of Class of 1923 Arena is horrible. And I just couldn't live stream on an unstable connection. So here comes Upen working his way up. Oh, he's tripped up, no call. He kind of tripped himself up. That's forced to down low Schroeder. T leaves it, we are his man. Here come the Marauders moving out. Here comes Kai Dunnigan. Dunnigan working his way up to the center eight. Dunnigan forced his way in. Rally couldn't get it. Pet moves past Cage and trickles in on Schroeder, but we take in by Brett Baccarella. Baccarella trying to play it up. Corelli trying to play it up, turns it over though. Neutrals are taken by Armali. A few pennants sent back in. Back out. 17 a shot. That goes wide. That was Drava Raymond. Gets it back down low. McCauley trying to feed that one out in front on the. In front on the back end, and that pass it, and that shot did not go. Tough angle shot taken by Burke. Burke is taken to the taken to the half wall where the benches are. This win is kind of weird. He got bent instead of both teams sitting on the same side. Both teams are sitting on the opposite side, and here comes a breakaway for number 77, Spencer. On the back end, he scores. Spencer Tohe takes a takes it on the back end, blows it right by Dylan Schroeder. And UPenn leads it. one nothing. Kind of started with the breakdown in center ice. Take it, and then two, he just took it all alone. Got Dylan Schroeder go down in the butterfly. He just lifted it right over him on the backhand. And it's quickly one nothing. UPenn. Paolini in to take the face off. I guess. That was number 24, Moshi 80. Boy, I gotta have I gotta have a little better handwriting. Picking back down low. Marauders trying to feed out in front. Brandon Ward couldn't keep it in on the backhand. And the Marauders will send it out. Ward gets it off Ryder. Ryder looking to feed Pullen. But that pass is broken up and the Marauders just send it in. Send it back out. Alan Ryder a shot save and the referee saw something. I believe he may have spotted a hand pass. So 
something because we still skate five on five hockey and face off it's back in a neutral zone. Be Aiden Carey in to take the draw. But when it trying to play it up, Carey trying to fight for it. Pettacoon trying to play it up, he cannot back. And Ty Dunnigan chases it. Dunnigan feeds that one out in front. Ooh. Hennessy trying to play it up. He cannot. Here comes Hennessy trying to get it again. He cannot. Taken by Kai Dunnigan. Dunnigan behind his own net. Marauders need to get something going here. Here come the Marauders. Here comes Carey working his way up. Carey. Gains the blue line. Carey trying to skate some two men. He cannot. His shot will just be deflected. Somehow stays in play. That just comes down right before the safety netting. Someone stick with flying. That was stick of a UPenn player. And... UPenn sends it all the way back down. The Marauders so far have kind of not been able to enter the zone cleanly. That's something they're going to have to work on. It's been a lot of sloppy play. I, again, apologize about that. Uh, anyway, we still skate one nothing. Uh, one nothing, U Pen. Bicoli wants to draw back. Sent back in. Right back with the shot that was saved into the corner now. And here come, here comes U Pen. Uh, trying to get it. Marauders force it back down low. Raymond trying to play it out. Knocked back in by McCauley, but it's taken by Raymond. And they send it all the way in on Schroeder. Rysak behind. Trying to play it up. Taken over by Upen. Number 55 working its way in. Back out McCauley. McCauley trying to feed out Corelli, and he forces it back down low. The will be controlled by Upen. Controlled by Armali. Gets up at 855. And I believe we have a hand pad spotted once again. So we get a stop at your play. 10 13. Well, they kind of dropped the puck at a kind of odd time. Kind of caught me off guard. Because we normally, when we're usually at home, they usually do. Uh, starting lineups and they just went right from warm-ups uh, right into dropping the puck so kind of caught me off guard just a little bit. Key's in to take the draw he loses it. Back up number 11 that shot goes wide. That was Cleary forces it back down low Ward trying to play it out he cannot back out Cleary trying to force that one and he cannot fighting for it down low Here comes Zerko. Zerko working its way in the lone marauder. Zerko being forced to the outside. Zerko trying to feed that one out in front. He was looking for Corrali, but good play by Michael Schmidt, number 44. And here comes you, Penny, yet again. Here comes Bond. Bond trying to work his way to the net. Good stick by Johnston. Back out in front. That shot save. Ward takes it, trying to play it out. Glove down by you, Penn. Forced back in. And they're going to say another hand pass. Or hand pass or close his glove on the puck as I don't think he passed it to anyone more or less as he closed his hand on the puck and face off will come back out into the neutral zone so three hand infractions that's kind of kind of odd to see it I call three times in a row carry in to take the draw one he wants it Dunnigan trying to force it ahead Pettacoon back out Dunnigan a shot into the glove of Averill and he'll hang on 9-19 remaining here in the first period. Well, the Marauders, as I was wanted to say before the game began, Marauders coming into this game with a record of 7-2. and two. They lost, the only two losses came to the Seton Hall Pirates, which they lost twice back, which they lost twice to. They lost Seton Hall at Seton Hall, and then they lost to Seton Hall at home. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Carey has it. Gets it to Dunnigan. Other than that, the Marauders have kind of been stellar this season. They be, they defeated Rutgers Division Two. They defeated uh, Penn State Harrisburg. They were supposed to play Penn State Berks last weekend. However, that game was postponed because of a issue, scheduling issue. I would assume with the referees or the officials. I'm not. It's uh, it had something to do with the officials. I'm not exactly sure of the full story. Uh, I got multiple conflicting stories, so. Uh, that game is to be rescheduled. I don't think they have rescheduled it yet. In the previous one, one came against the Westchester Rams, six to three. That was the homecoming weekend. That was a fun game for homecoming weekend. Uh, so that was two weeks ago. Uh, two Penn trying to force that one back in. Two Heat already has the one goal today. For, trying to force it back down, but being chased behind that, trying to feed it out in front. Save! Schroeder sprawling to make that save to stop Queen. As Tui fed Queen out in front of the net, and the Marauders had to be careful. Dylan Schroeder had to, diving had to, had to make that save. So, as I, I wanted to say earlier about the benches, I mean, if you look at it, you got the Marauders on this end, and then you got UPenn, UPenn on this end. So, each bench is on opposite sides of the ice. Which is very odd uh, to see, but very odd to see. As that pass, puck is tipped into the crowd. Some lucky fan got that puck. I believe that was tipped off of uh, Jacob Burke trying to play it in, and it just two six collided, and the puck went up and out of play. McCauley in to take the face off. He went against Mashidi. Back up the blue line. Seifert trying to play that one in. Jet shot goes wide. I believe the goaltender may have got a piece of it. They're trying to play it out. Number five. I don't have a name for number five. So it's three players on UPenn. I don't have a name for. So I apologize. Cleary behind the net. Cleary trying to play it out. Out to 95. Oh, is that another one? So number five controls. Does he hit? Gets it to better. Better trying to play it up. But it's intercepted. Intercepted by Rysak. Rysak working its way and feeds across McCulley. A shot goes wide. Rysak scores. Oh, the puck takes a weird hop. Off the back of the boards, up right in front of Rysak, sticks, Rysak buries it. It was a shot from Aiden Carey. As Carey's shot went wide, but bounced right behind the boards of the net, hopped right out in front, and he had Connor Rysak right there to bury the rebound. I guess he can't call it a rebound because it was never was a shot on goal. Anyway, Rysak was right there and buried it. And we were tied 1-1. Sometimes that's what you got to get. Just get bounces to go your way. And that's what the Marauders did right there. They got one lucky bounce to go their way. Connor Isaac, great place, great time. And it's and they buried it in the back of the net. He had stoppage of play. 7.06 remaining here in the first period. Live, we are not live. Excuse me. From We are not live from class 1923 Arena. Ward knocks it back in down low behind the net. Leaves it there. Try and play it out, back out. It's Beggy. Beggy trying to flip that one into center, but it's intercepted by the Marauders, but it's taken back. Here comes Schmidt. Schmidt works his way. Schmidt to say Schmidt shot and saved by Schroeder. Popovich trying to force that one back behind. They be taken. It was taken by Beggy, but the Marauders send it all the way down, and that will be an icing call. 6.30 remaining here within, in the first period. Carry in to take the face off. Official saw something he didn't like. And drop the puck. UPenn wins it back. Raymond a shot blocked. Forcing it down low. Carey trying to get it. UPenn, look, he's looking to feed it out in front. Ooh, turns that shot. Went wide. Bad angle shot. That was Queen. Throws it across Raymond. That shot goes wide again. Pettikoon comes to it. And Pettikoon trying to play it out. Kept back in by 55. Still play it back in, but we taken by Pettikoon. 
and I'll just send it in. Here comes Raymond again. Raymond, that shot blocked. Brennan Ward, I don't think he meant to block that shot. He wasn't facing Raymond, but went off his leg. The five trying to force it back in. Schroeder couldn't collect. And the Marauders just send it all the way down yet again. Not, en not enough muster on the puck for it to be an icing as Yupin plays it back out to the neutral zone. Marauders force it down low. Cleary trying to play it out. Nice play by Allen Ryder. Steal that puck from Cleary. Back out Vaccarello. Coin control. Here comes Yupin. Here comes 55. Knocked away from him. Nice play by Kai Duncan. Here comes Paolini. Paolini has that pass knock, has that puck knocked away from him. Here comes Kai Dunnikin. Dunnikin working through right up through center ice. Dunnikin holds, sends it all the way in. Sends it to the corner. Will be taken by Cleary. Cleary trying to play it out. Dunnikin can't get to it. But, however, Boston will try and play it out in front. Paolini trying to feed it on the back end. Back out Burke shot deflected wide. Oh, just plays breaking down all around, but the Marauders just keep getting with it. And they turn into a chance by Burke, but that it's Pat, his shot was deflected up and out of play. <laughs> 4 42 remaining here in the first period. McCauley in to take the face off. UPenn wins it back into the corner. They try to play it out. Kept back in. Almost kept back in by McCauley, but here comes UPenn. Here come the Quakers digging in the blue line. Try and play that guy in front off of Burke's gate and McCauley play it out. Here comes Jacob Burke. Burke. Burke's his way behind the net. Oh, he whipped on the shot. Burke trying to feed it out on the back end. Trickles off of a UPenn player's gate and goes back in on the goaltender where April. We'll cover her up. But both teams going for a change with 421 remaining here. The first period faceoff will come to the left of Averill. Cage wins it back. Back out. Right stack a shot blocked in front. Corrali trying to feed Zerko in front. His shot save. Allo behind the net. Raymond controls. Gets it back out. Better. Force back in by right stack. UPenn trying to play it out of their zone. Back out Zerko, couldn't get a stick on him. Here comes UPenn, but it's North forced back in by the Marauders. Gates chasing it down low behind the net, but UPenn will get it, and this pass misses everyone. Right stack trying to play back in, but it's finally taken out of the zone by UPenn. 95 trying to feed it. Shot save, and we get a penalty call. So we get a hooking call. I believe this will go against the Marauders. That was Machietti with the shot, with, with the chance in front. I believe he was hooked, and I believe UPenn will be going on their first power play. See who they send to the box. Looks like they are sending Jeremy Seifert to the box. Oh, excuse me, they had sent, not Seifert. They had sent Connor Isaac, I was going to say, I don't think Seifert was out there. Seifert just sitting a little away from the bench. Okay. So it'll be Connor Isaac in for hooking. Back out, that shot saved by Schroeder, and he'll hang on. The Marauders, uh... Currently trail one nothing. I lost my notes of what I wanted to say. Anyway, they currently actually they don't trail. They're tied one one. Ugh, a bit disorganized today. Vaccarello trying to play it out and they'll send it the length of the ice. The Armali, the old quarterback for UPenn. Armali gains the blue line. He center ice leaves it off for. Tuhi, Tuhi already with the one goal today. Tuhi takes it behind the net. Tuhi still controls, still controls. Works its way and he's tripped up and that's gonna be a penalty. Tuhi just controlled it. He 
took it in all alone. I'm not sure. And he fell down, so that's going to be a penalty. So delayed call on the Marauders. As the Quakers will go on a five on three advantage for a minute four. As they are sending Cole McCauley to the box. So I believe it'll be Cole McCauley for tripping. And it's a five on three for a minute four. Paolini in to take the face off against Ali Furoff. So it'll be Jack Paolini versus Calvin Ali Furoff. Puck is dropped. Paolini wants it back out. And Kai Dunnigan sends it the length of the ice. Get down low, Cleary. He'll control from behind his own net. Cleary feeds of Alvarov. Alvarov trying to touch his man, number 44. Michael Schmidt. Schmidt sends it down low. Machete in the corner. Machete back out, Cleary. Cleary throws it across. Schmidt walks in. That shot blocked in front. I believe that was Brett Zaccarello who blocked that shot. Cleary sends it back in low. Sends it back in. Five feet to back out. Oh, hopped over the stick of Schmidt. Schmidt gets it back out. Cleary at the blue line. Cleary walks in that shot. Looking for a deflection in front of its clear length of the ice. Well, Cleary had the opportunity to blast it one time, and he elected not to. Here comes Cleary working up through center again. Cleary gains the blue line. He'll be forced off that puck. Vaccarello trying to take him to the boards. He more took himself out. Cleary behind the net trying to feed it out in front. He had Machete in front of that clear. He gets it back out. Schmidt. Schmidt walks in that shot. Deflects up high and wide. So the five on three over. Now it's just 48 seconds remaining on the Cole McCauley tripping penalty with a minute 29 here remaining in the first period. We are still tied 1-1. As face off will come to the left of Schroeder. It'll be Aiden Carey to take the draw. Against Zach Queen. And UPenn wins it back out to the blue line. Clear. Back out. That's not clearing. Because they get down low. Back out. That shot saved. Back out. Rebound. Going to get back out to Eden O'Malley. That shot. Ooh, Schroeder almost had trouble controlling it. As he had a dive on that loose puck. With 32 seconds remaining on the Cole McCauley penalty. It'll be Aiden Carey in to take the face off. Marauders want it back. And the Marauders, ooh, trying to control it. Here comes Boston. As Boston just takes it in all alone. He's a mar lone Marauder. And Boston's taking the boards as he was met by five, four white jerseys. As you've been trying to get it up, ooh, that was Armali trying to feed it back on through, but no one was there. Carey comes to the puck. Very good penalty kill by Marauders. Carey controls. Carey, oh, trying to get the shot off. He whipped on it. Carey trying to feed it out on the backhand. Sat in front of the net for a minute, but no Marauder is there to get a stick on it. Back out to he can't, can't get it. And be taken by Armali. Schmidt trying to play it up. It's taken by Seifert. Pops over his stick. And I'll just send it back in. Armali plays it around. Rysak can't get to it. He's off to chase it back in his own zone. Rysak gets off Dunnigan. As Dunnigan trying to play it up. As Marauder just force it back in Upen zone. Upen trying to play it up. Nice play by Dunnigan to be right there to knock down that pass. Here comes McCauley. McCauley is shot. Deflected wide and that will do it. For the first period. So... At the end of the first period, we are tied 1-1. Uh, we don't have a shot. We don't have shot totals, unfortunately. Uh, I would say it's just about pretty much even. Uh, might be more in favor of UPenn because they had a 5-on-3 man advantage. But anyway, we are tied 1-1 thanks to goals from Spencer Tuhi of UPenn. He had that breakaway goal early in the first period. And then Connor Rysak answered back, which was a weird goal. The puck bounced as I... As as I said, the puck bounced 
the puck was shot wide, bounced out from the glass, bounced right in front of Rysak's stick, and he's able to bury it to tie this game up 1-1. The only penalties this period were Cole McCauley and Connor Rysak. Rysak had a hooking call, and Cole McCauley the tripping penalty. So we will, be, we will be back for the second period. Actually, I'll be one video. We, we're not live. So I'll be one video. So that will do it for the first period. That's what I'm trying to say. That will do it for the first period. We are tied 1-1 at the end of one.